All right, what up guys, Andre and Crosspower. It's Mark here, and today is Tuesday the 18th. And um, I'm sitting up here on the rooftop, a little garden area, so it's quiet, there's nobody around, and you can see behind me, it's got these little the, um, cherry blossom trees. So this is definitely a sign that spring is around the corner. These sort of, these trees are very famous, like in Asia area. Um, they only come out for, they only blossom for a couple weeks in a year. So in, in, usually in March or something, everybody takes pictures of them. And today we see some are starting to pop out, so spring is just around the corner. Alright, so today we want to talk to you about the effects of the coronavirus and what has it done on certain industries. As we know, it's still in the early stages, so we don't know what, the, we haven't feel the full effect of which industry is going to hurt the most, but obviously tourism and um, hospitality is going to get a major blow and of course sporting events so this is what I'm going to talk about today the biggest hit on competitive sports but first up let's check out the scoreboard team China versus team Corona or should I say the COVID-19 12,656 recovered versus 1870 that didn't make it so actually the numbers are definitely getting better like the total amount now is seven seventy two thousand five hundred and thirty so it's only up 1891 we'd had that big jump but then after that big jump kind of for the last the last week now would last whatever five five days or so six days it's just actually been just sort of like just going down by these numbers, they're saying that the virus is going down. According to the, to um, actually outside, I see that the, the all the stringent method, methods of blocking the locking the place down. Maybe that's starting to work. Maybe that's actually um, the reason why it's not spreading as much now. So everybody's been affected from this thing. Every every industry has some kind of effect. No one was no one's safe from the virus, but obviously certain industries affect more, such as. Um, anything like big events and tourists anything with big crowds and stuff like that and of course that means the sporting sporting competitions and things like that that's gonna take a major major hit obviously now it's just sort of springtime and this is kind of like the in season for when things are actually gearing up but instead of gearing up it's been actually toning down everything has been been turning off turning off so we don't know like how, how long it's how long it's going to like some guys cannot predict about how long it goes for but the thing with with um, like sporting events is like a whole series of things that need to be planned to to implement it it's not like just a like a tourist attraction for example if the tourist attraction just suddenly open or close they just open and they're running to do da their daily stuff but like like normal, normal sporting events is actually planned over many months or even could be over years and um, all the logistics involved, all the athletes involved, all the spectators, all the marketing, all the push, it doesn't sort of like take just like a, you just cannot just notify somebody, oh, it's going to be on and off like that. It's many, many months. So like people looking at it now, they're going to have to predict whether, um, should they leave it on or should they cancel it? Or then no one knows how long the thing that this, this virus is going to go for. So, so a lot of event organizers, they're kind of sort of stuck now thinking that okay how should we go ahead about doing this sort of thing or is the government going to make the government already announced that most most events have already been cancelled a lot of ex exhibitions a lot of um, sporting events a lot of the order international events there's even some qualifiers for Olympic events they're all all being um, slowly getting getting cancelled just in the in these last few days there's been a, several announcements already of the different events that have been cancelled so to give you an idea of what kind of events have been or sporting events that have been off uh, well let's say let's see athletics athletics we have the world indoor championship was in Nanjing for March and that's been postponed now uh, Asia indoor championships in Hangzhou that's been cancelled um, racing car racing oh this is a big one Formula One Formula One Grand Prix in, in Shanghai. This was also in April. This is a, a, a huge event that's been planned obviously for a long time and like for them to pull the plug on that obviously somebody thinks it's really a serious matter for this one. You've got also Formula E 
down in Sanya that's um, that's been cancelled and we've got like badminton China's Masters postponed Asia team championships in Manila China's already withdrawn Hong Kong is out as well basketball we got women's qualifier women's this was this is an Olympic qualifier for women's tournament it's already been um, it's cancelled in China and they've moved it to overseas you've got like Asia Cup the Asia Cup qualifier China and Malaysia that's been postponed he's also got another um, Olympia biathlon which was another Olympic test event that was down in Jiangjiakou and that was that's been cancelled um, boxing Asia Oceanic Olympic qualifier in Wuhan that's been relocated to um, overseas then you've got um, sport climbing Asia championships in Chongqing it's been relocated so sport climbing world cups in april that's been cancelled equestrian hong kong this is like in horse racing and stuff like that it's all come to a standstill um, field hockey out um, golf us pga tour cancelled european tour postponed china open in shenzhen that's in april it's been postponed as well um, gymnastics gymnastics Olympics women's the women's qualifying MMA 1FC that's probably the biggest martial arts promoter in um, in Asia they had an event in Chongqing and now that's been that's been relocated out outside of China now um, the rugby Singapore sevens Hong Kong sevens this is two of the really really famous really big um, rugby matches both have been postponed then you've got um, skiing World Cup skiing in Yanqing cancelled then we've got football or some guys like to call it soccer Asia Championship League that's been postponed you've got the Asia Women's Olympic qualifier um, that's been relocated from Wuhan to Sydney AFC Cup that's also been delayed Chinese Super League that's been delayed You've got diving, diving World Series in Beijing that's been cancelled. Tennis. You've got the Federation Asia Cup Oceania Group tournaments that were supposed to be in Dongguan that was also cancelled as well. Xterra Triathlon. It's a huge event down in um, Hainan. Asia Pacific Championships been cancelled. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff like um, the Winter X Games been postponed. Chess Federation um, presidential competition cancelled as well. Snooker competitions. You had a huge event, a sports accord up in Beijing. That was a like a world federation. Tons of uh, sporting federations were going to have a meeting up there. I was actually going to be in that thing too, and um, that's that's been cancelled. And also we've got lots of different um, events that are overseas now that have stopped athletes from the Chinese athletes from attending other events from overseas so you can see that and that's just a list of the international events there's tons of local events that also have been cancelled dozens of um, dozens of marathons every weekend all being cancelled and you've got like hundreds of trade shows that have been lined up for the spring have all been cancelled so it's a it's a pretty big it's a pretty big deal so the difference um, <clears throat> When you're hosting an event, you've got to consider that like you cannot just announce an event and just cancel it because even even an event usually you need at least three months, even three to six months to announce because you need to have like the, the athlete preparation time. Some athletes actually have to train for it, and then you also have the um, organization, the logistics of the venue. Then you also have like the um, arranging for the equipment and the setup as well ticket sales things like that and obviously um, audience has to book their tickets they have to arrange the tickets to go there and also if you're actually booking like performers or things like that a lot of a lot of um, KOLs or performers they're gonna actually require like a like an upfront fee maybe they need to pay half first or you need to pay the venue and then if it's cancelled then obviously the the, um, the organizer is gonna lose lots because maybe the venue is already booked out space they don't know when to to um, when is it going to be rescheduled and then also the athletes how they're going to prepare to train for the event and then also 
the the venue itself okay maybe maybe it has has some kind of insurance coverage but a lot of things like this sort of thing it's not covered epidemic is not covered by um, insurance sometimes you have like these floodings or like hurricane or something like this maybe some other things that are, that can be covered but certain certain things like and, and certain places and things are not insurance does not cover the epidemic so some guys are gonna lose big time on this one and uh, the biggest thing now is that everybody's at a standstill because no one knows when the when um, when the thing is going to be finished if, if this thing is finished if the the virus is actually officially announced that it's finished then then guys can actually start to plan when when the competitions are being set up again or rearranged if they don't know when it the, the, that day is then the, the thing is that you cannot plan anything before that because actually everything has been changed now like sponsorships as well companies they don't want to sponsor these kind of events anymore because they don't know when the next thing and actually most companies now they're not kind of looking to expand or or um, marketing in these kind of tight times now that the, the situation is happening most companies and most brands are like actually contracting and everybody will be waiting so therefore the um, until now like the, the the fitness industry or this the sports especially sports competitive sports professional sports like no nobody knows no one knows what they're gonna do so then actually <clears throat> the thing is that that if the the government says that you will obviously the government has already turned off a lot of these sort of things they said you they're not allowed to do these kind of events and people just sort of waiting to see if they should still do it because at the moment it's still just a China problem but obviously it's just starting to trickle out to other countries now and to other things so different places are being concerned about that so we're involved in this industry as well uh, we've been planning competitions and events like we actually had something that, that was supposed to be scheduled for the, um, the end of February that's been cancelled we had actually plans for competitions and events that led through the whole year so basically now we're back to the back to the drawing board and trying to replan and reschedule the whole thing but the biggest issue now is that that um, no one knows when the how long the virus is going to go for so we actually need to plan like okay if there's things that are going to happen do you just plan for next year or do you need to reschedule for later in this year or if you do re reschedule or do you, do some other other um, venues or places do they have a contingency plan for this do you actually have a reload if you cannot host it there do you relocate in another country do you relocate in another city the events have actually changed they've changed to a different different country and um, or they've relocated to a different different place but this now the problem now is that the with the ban for Chinese athletes to go abroad that means a lot of the events that um, Chinese athletes were supposed to participate in they can no longer participate in and then um, other events that have either been cancelled or relocated if they've been relocated then um, they still have other additional costs obviously to find another venue and to arrange a whole new new thing if it's to a different country maybe actually order sponsorships or different brands it's even a different it's a completely different thing if it's actually moved to another another country and then um, the audience will be different as well and the audience they already booked tickets and then they've booked flights and hotel and accommodation that sort of thing so then do they get um, some guys were saying that some hotels now or some flights were offering services to refund or change your thing but then it's a completely different thing so actually once when someone just says oh they're going to relocate an event to a different country or to a different place it's it's basically doing a completely different event you've got a completely different audience a completely different background venue everything has to be replanned again so it's starting from scratch so that's the, the experience with anyone that's in this events and um, sports industry at the moment if you actually either cancel it completely or decide if it's worth to relocate and if you do relocate what are or if if it's even worth to relocate or basically just to sit it out but the biggest issue is actually that even if you were allowed to do it and even if somehow you set up an event and actually got it running and then but the thing is that who, who's gonna go that's the, the who, who's gonna go there because everybody instead of like competing everybody's gonna be talking about or worried about the virus so that's the biggest problem right there